We're going in for a little late-night horror in half an hour with Vincent Price and Hazel Force in a devilish piece called The Mask of the Red Death. But if that sounds slightly too chilling for you, you could perhaps find comfort of a kind in The Heat of the Night with Sidney Poitier and Rod Steiger just before 20 past 11 on BBC One. Tomorrow evening, revolution in the classroom looks at the implications of the new GCSE examination. Over half a million 14 and 15 year olds have just returned to school to find themselves facing a new exam. I think it's going to raise standards by not first abandoning the high academic standards that exist in the higher grades of O level. I think that's important. Uh, and it's also going to raise standards by making the teaching of subjects more relevant to the children. That's important. There's no good teaching children a whole lot of stuff they don't absorb or take in and don't understand how it relates to everything else. I've been told sort of like it's less based on memory, it's more like what you can get from the information you're told. So you don't have to learn anything like a parrot. Um, we've been pledged another £20, approximately, per head from the money that government have, have promised from their £20 million or whatever. We reckon that will be, be about another £20 per head. So that means the GCSE this year, we will be, have been given £30 per head. Now, I would say that I need to double that to do the job effectively. Revolution in the Classroom is at 10 past 8 tomorrow, here on BBC Two. Now tonight's cur curriculum turns to outdoor pursuits with the first leg of the final in the Masters Bulls tournament from Worthing, Jack High. but uh, don't, don't give Ian uh, enough chance, He'll, he might get there. I think Ian's adapted himself extremely well to the, uh, to the condition this year, considering it's the first time he's ever been over here. I think he's done amazingly well. And he's also beaten David, which could be a psychological advantage. I think it'll probably be very, very close early on. Uh, you can probably expect something around the 7-7, seven, 8-8 seven, eight, eight tie, and then all of a sudden David has this, this knack of pulling away. If David reproduces the form he played in the semi, then um, Ian Dickinson's got a very tough task on his hands. He's going to find him difficult to hold. I would like to see Ian win. It'll be a boost for the overseas players, but then again, I think David will come through again. I think David takes each game as it comes. He rots off what he loses, and he's got the big one, and he hasn't lost too many big ones. The Masters, who now sit it out in the stands with their forecasts of this year's Jack High Gateway Masters final. David Bryant, five times a champion in eight years, against the new man from New Zealand, Ian Dickerson. Well, Dickerson, of course, has got that psychological advantage of a win over Bryant earlier this week, in the league section, but uh, this is a different match. It is the final, there's £8,000 resting on it, and it's the title that Bryant treasures. Well, with David Rhys-Jones in the commentary box with me, we saw the first five ends really worthy of a final. A three and two ones by Bryant, a three and a two by Dickerson. End six then, all square at five all. Bryant, Red Bulls. early days remember only one man in the history of Jack High here and its ninth year has ever beaten Bryant in a final George Souza of Hong Kong that was in the abnormal conditions of bowling through the hail
Dickerson has made the better start to this long jack. And although they have expressed their preferences, Bryant for long, Dickerson for short. In actual fact, Bryant has been winning the short jacks and Dickerson has been winning the long ones. change still Dickerson holds second and they have one bowl each to play on this sixth end of what has already become a fascinating final full of tactics full of quality and very tense indeed Last chance on this end to get amongst those two whites counting for the New Zealander. That's running in. Is it running through? Yes, he's gone through. So Dickerson scoring two and one to play. short last time he bowled to this end and he's over corrected and he's lost it and uh, a little bit of laughter even with early days David Reese Johns quite a serious mistake there I think even though he has been scoring well along jacks but he wants to command that's right it remains to be seen whether he will uh, suffer from the mistake because Dickerson has yet to win an end in this direction so perhaps it might come as a shot in the arm to him that we've uh, got a different length jack this way Saying to Bryant, put it where you like. What a good opener. Dickerson drew his first bowl on the backhand and there's still room for him to draw another one inside or outside Ryan's first delivery persevere with the hand you know well the advice would perhaps have been rather more convincing if uh, Dickerson had produced the goods with his second delivery
And apart from the very first bowl, David Bryant has had the better of this end. Yes. Moves and ours on the crowd, but a dead pan, David Bryant. So close that I'm sure that he'll have another go with his final delivery. Dickerson in his last bowl of his seventh end, leading 8-5 on the scoreboard, holding shot. Different end on that, David. Different end, but I still think the same shot. If Brian plays an identical bowl to his last, I'm sure he'll make contact with the shot bowl. He could, with luck, come off it and take out the other one as well. Oh. <laughs> Got it. The bowl followed the precise line of his previous delivery. Jack in the ditch for one. Well, here's a change by Bryant. He's kept the mat back, but coming down towards the comedy box end, bowl the short jack. Just asking Norman Thompson, the marker, to move out of his line of sight. And always thinking about the game, David Bryant must have realised that he's not won an end in this direction yet. For the foot shot. For six inches to you. Norman Thompson, how short his previous ball was, short and compared to the length of the jack, not how far it was from the jack, but still six inches, put on just a little bit more weight. <laughs> All at it. <laughs> Good measure all round now. Good length, isn't it? Look at that. Jack doesn't need moving very far for Bryant to come out of this with three or four shots.
has one white one of Dickerson's holding out a four by Bright and Dickerson one to play. Jack. Well, at least that saved the measure. Dickerson worth two shots there on, on a perfect trail, but he'll be happy to get the one. think worth remembering that the first time these two players ever met here in this Masters in the league section when Dickerson beat Bryant 21-19. Two. Hardly be worse off. Be hoping to take at least one red bowl out of the cup. This could be good. Well, that was hard to bear. Bowl found a small gap. Brian still holds two. Oh yes. Great play. One, two, could it be three? Two. Blue Jacket, George Souza, the 1983 champion, the only man to beat Bryant in a final, who's ended up seventh this year. Dan Milligan there on the left in the Red Jacket from Canada, has ended up eighth. He was the bronze medalist a couple of years back. And here's Bryant.
Good placement. The uh, score of Bryant from two down to one. And Bryant puts it back in. Well, the last time they played in this direction, Dickerson came up with a very nice trail on the backhand. This time he might use a little more weight to try and remove some of those lead balls. Just overdrawing. far enough. Deliberately playing it beyond the jack, wanted another two or three feet of running. Oh, you wouldn't believe you could get through there. Dickerson doesn't believe it, I'll tell you. That's amazing. Looks like Bryant is going ahead. Yes. Two it is. Bryant in the lead. 10 9. And there's applause ringing around this uh, amphitheatre of bowling here at Worthing now. Really seeing some wonderful accuracy by both these players worthy of the final. Avoiding the toucher. The slightest movement on that and the jack would have separated from the bowl. That's a very good result. Shot. Well, he's done the difficult bit. He's opened it up. Bryant ho only holds one now.
good length. Yeah, not be quite close enough. 